Let's talk about, the, <clears throat> about that, though, because, as you know, there are tons of predictions about what AI will mean for aggregate demand for, for humans in the workforce. <clears throat> Pardon me. And with every new wave of technology, there are always these concerns that it's going to render human workers obsolete. The one question I have with AI, though, is whether the pace of change may be faster than the labor market can handle the adjustment. In other words, the, the growth of this intelligence just so dramatic that it may automate more and more positions faster than people can find new work. What, what do you think? Um, I'll be provocative and say, I hope so. Hmm. Let me tell you why. In the world of manufacturing, we have perennially 500,000 open positions. And some forecasts say we're going to need three to four million more people in manufacturing to produce the things. I mean, David, we're talking about the real world, mm -hmm. right? It's, it's one thing to have information flowing. It's another to actually produce the things that we need. So the real world needs AI. And frankly, getting more people used to the idea that our next jobs may actually be in fields where we're the ones engaging with the real world. Uh, once upon a time, we all thought we would be a services um, nation. Mm -hmm. But the fact is that if you make, you innovate. We need to manufacture in order to be a thriving and secure country in the future. So we do need more people coming into fields where they can apply their know-how in, in the fields of manufacturing. Are there jobs that are going to change? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And what we're trying to do is get the message out not to be afraid of it. From the first time a human picked up a rock and used it as a tool, tools elevated the role of humans. And this is no different. This is a moment for us to step up and get creative. 